Hey guys, welcome to Kogan Sunday Service. My name is Christian and I'm excited to be with you here this Sunday. We always want to thank Kogan Self-Defense Academy for their part in getting these videos to you and out there on social media. So guys, Rob, Bowie, Matt, thank you so much. Thank you for Kogan. Thank you for all the effort. Thank you for all the work. We truly appreciate you. Each week we talk about a different aspect of spiritual defense. Spiritual defense has three different parts. The first is to defend, to defend ourselves against apathy, against fear, against depression, and all of those things that slow us down. It is to disarm, to disarm the power and lies the forces of darkness tell and to combat them with truth. And finally, it is to defeat those powers and walk in freedom and victory. You know, today I have something that's just kind of near to my heart as I watched the last couple of weeks on my messages, on my phone. There was some discussion about competition at Kogan. A number of our Kogan people got together and began talking about what it takes, what it means to compete. Competition is an entirely different feel than when you're in the academy rolling, even on an open mat or after class, there is adrenaline to deal with, there are crowds to deal with, there is pressure to perform to deal with. There are all kinds of factors that play into competition and the competition mindset. And I was excited to see the different comments, I was excited to see the direction, and I was excited to just see people, our people, banded together for one common purpose. When we take that into spiritual defense, I'm reminded of a passage of scripture that may be familiar to some of you. In the book of Proverbs 27, 17, it says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. I think about that concept and the idea is simply this, a sword by itself cannot get any sharper, but two swords pushing against each other create a sharpness. They create friction. They create heat. And ultimately, both of those swords finish sharper than they started. When I think about that in terms of spiritual defense, we need to remember that we need to be around people who challenge us, around people who help us see things from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, from a faithful perspective. You know, there's a old adage that simply says you are what you eat. I'm not going to get into nutrition right now, but what I'm going to tell you is this. The people that you hang out with, the people whose ideas and the people whose presence fills most of your life, most likely is who you are going to become. So ask yourself today, is this a place and space? Is this a person who I look to and say, I want to be like this person. All of us have people who are helping up. All of us have people who are helping us. And then we have people we look to for the next level. I encourage you in the mode of spiritual defense, you should have all three, but having that person, that iron sharpening iron, it's what I saw in all of those message threads is how do all of us get better? We get better by challenging each other. We get better by having a common purpose. And that common purpose is understanding more about our purpose here in this world in relation to God and his word. I hope this time has been an encouragement for you. If you have questions, I would love to talk to you about the opportunities that I have to be able to teach, to be able to train, to be able to talk about the faith that is the foundation of my life. I want to thank you guys so much for staying tuned. I look forward to seeing you this week on the mats, in the academy, at Kogan. You guys have a great and safe week. God bless you guys. I look forward to seeing you soon.